So this is the sawmill here in Springfield and I will show you to the best of my abilities how this is going to work. All of this is coming from horsepower. So let me show you how the horses work. And here they have eight horses today. So the kids have a whip and with the whip it can make the horses go faster. So here's where the drive shaft, this is where it's coming from. This is where it's going to be rotating from. So it's going to go all the way through here and then all the way to the cutter. This is where the drive shaft is going to come from. It's going to go all the way under and then it's going to come here and it's basically going to spin all of this and it's going to go all the way here. And then from there, they're using water to help cut the wood. So this is where they're going to burn the wood and then the end result might be something like this and with this you can do many things with it. This is going to be scrap. Some of this scrap is actually good and can be sold and then some of the other crap is scrap is going to be burned like this. To pull all of these logs, all of these trees, they actually use horses, not horses, oxen to pull it all the way from there. And I think the land is owned by an American guy and he basically uh, allows the Amish people to use the facility to use the wood and they give him a uh, money for every piece of wood I believe or uh, but depending on the weight or however they go about it. So they'll get something like this and then they'll start uh, cutting it. This I believe is not uh, brought by a oxen. I think this is from a maybe a tractor or something and I don't know how they brought it up here but this is humongous humongous so this is what it looks like this is the sawmill all of it done by horses no electric no gas powered no engine power all of it is horses so they have a water coming out of here and the water helps it with cutting So he's going to get his chain on this log and let's see what he does. So the little kid came out to help. Oh, the little kid knows how to do it. We usually do it this way that the, the horse that, that's laziest mm -hmm. comes in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Inside. This is from a car, right? I think so. Well, this well, looks like a, some kind of machine. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's from a car. Yeah. And then these is from like a semi truck or like a truck. It must be somewhere. Yeah. Yeah.
So there is actually a lot of technology going on here. So the sawdust is carried here. So there's not a lot of sawdust inside. So it's basically gonna go here. So let me show you where all the sawdust is gonna go. You're gonna have to cross the main street here. And then this is where it's gonna go. So on this layer, there's the sawdust. And then the other layer shouldn't really have much. And by the time it gets back, it's not gonna contain much sawdust, but the top layer does, and the lower belt doesn't. So sawdust, not so much. And then there's a gentleman that might buy this or uses it for fertilizer or some other things. But this is where the sawdust goes. And this is the sawmill. So what they're doing today is actually, the guy is buying fencing. The fence right here, the wood for the fence, that's what he's buying. And it might be a little bit bigger like this here. Like this. And these are the kids. It's a really hard job. It's a dangerous job. He was telling me that some of the people have lost fingers. And people from other communities, uh, Spanish people, they come here and they buy the logs. So it can be hardwood. This is more so like soft which is kind of like used for construction and then as you get towards the harder woods that's more used for like interior things even uh kitchen or things like that things like this one and this is moving very slowly 